At the beginning, you're going to come into your room or into the, uh, onto the stage or maybe into a meeting room or maybe on a video presentation or a video meeting. And you're going to have a chance to meet people a little bit beforehand. So it's always a good idea to be flexible, arrive early, don't be late, of course, never be late for your presentation, and then to maybe say hello to some of those people that are in your audience. Before starting a presentation, meeting people helps everyone to feel comfortable. It will help the audience feel that they kind of know you, that they feel that you're someone they can relate to, so they'll feel comfortable. For you, it helps you to understand the audience from the very beginning. Maybe the audience is very formal, or maybe they're very relaxed. Maybe you're very nervous, but after you say hello to some people in the audience, you will feel more relaxed, and they will feel more relaxed too. So this idea of shaking hands, saying hello, exchanging cards, don't forget your business card, by the way. That's always an important one. I'm always surprised people forget their business card, their name card, or at least your uh, code that you can use on your phone to pass on your contact information. Always remember that. Shake hands, exchange business cards, prepare your business card, very important. Introduce yourself, say where you're from, and then you can ask others, where are they from? What school, university, or business are they from? This is very, very helpful. Remember, oh, I'm Clyde Warden. I'm from Chongqing University. I'm Ed Smith. I'm from IBM Company. Where are you from? What school are you from? Where did you visit from? These are all very friendly ways just to make some conversation very quickly. And I think this makes your audience feel more human, more relaxed, and relate to you. Use this time to quickly introduce your topic so that people in the audience will feel comfortable. So for example, you could say something like, Oh, today I'm going to be talking about... Oh, I'm so glad you could come to my presentation. Today I'm going to be talking about a really interesting topic. Uh, today I'm going to show something that I think is really exciting. That's the interesting thing about a presentation. If the audience thinks you're excited, then they will feel excited with you. So at this very beginning, it's a great time. Have a big smile, have a friendly posture, shake hands, say hello, mention your presentation topic, say it's exciting. Even though you may feel, actually, it's complicated and boring, remember, one piece, one good part can have something interesting. Emphasize that interesting part. Let's look at some introduction sentences that we could use. So for example, good afternoon. My name is Jack Chen. I am the sales director for Avon's Taiwan division. See, so that's very straightforward, right? Very easy, I think, to understand. Very um, friendly and helps to introduce who you are and who you represent. It's a really great idea. Let's try another one. Let me introduce myself. Here is my business card. That's my company there. You see, you don't have to be totally fluent or outstanding in the local language. You can just say, here's my card. That's me. That's my company there. Yeah. I'll be presenting today. I don't think we have been introduced yet. I like this one a lot. I don't think we've been introduced yet. When you say, I don't think we've been introduced yet, the other person will introduce themselves, so it's very helpful. I don't think we've been introduced yet. What do you do? Meaning, what's your work? 
Where are you currently working? He's a very official, courteous, formal introductions. But they work really well because everyone's used to it. It makes people feel comfortable. Even though you may think it's a little bit silly, it makes people feel comfortable because it's so normal. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. Could you tell me your name again? This is always an interesting one and very helpful actually. When you forget someone's name, you can say, I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. Uh, I forget your name is... And people will help you with their name. It's very common, very normal, but it's a very nice way, an easy way to get people to tell you their name again because you forgot. And even if you didn't forget, you've never met before, you can do this at the very beginning. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, you are from, uh, I forget your name is, right? It's very easy to do. And people do feel it's comfortable and easy to respond to.